So today, uh, we're open sourcing the first set of our Llama 3 models. We're also still training a larger dense model with more than 400 billion parameters. You run this command to start Llama 3. And there you go. That's pretty much about it. What's up the internet? What's up everybody? Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. So Meta just released a bomb. A huge, huge bomb. Llama 3 is here. And for those of you who don't know Llama 3, it's just a continuation of the Llama large language model um, lineup, which Meta is working on. So the first release Llama and then Llama 2 and now we have Llama 3. Now I'm not gonna go into the details or like talk about you know um, what it can do and everything. I'm just gonna link this post or I'm gonna link this web page down in the description below so you can check it out. But as a quick overview we can see here that Llama now supports boat or Llama is now available in boat 8B and 7B. Pre-trained and instruct fine-tuned version is support on a wide range of applications. This is really, really phenomenal. Now, um, I'm going to play a video of Mark talking about this, and then I'm going to re, we're going to come back later. So today, uh, we're open sourcing the first set of our Llama 3 models at 8 billion and 70 billion parameters. They have best-in-class performance for their scale. And we've also got a lot more releases coming soon that are going to bring multimodality and bigger context windows. We're also still training a larger dense model with more than 400 billion parameters. And to give you a sense of Llama 3's performance, this first release of the 8 billion is already nearly as powerful as the largest Llama 2 model that we released. And this version of the 70 billion model is already around 82 MMLU uh, with leading reasoning and math benchmarks. The 400 billion parameter model um, is, is currently around 85 MMLU, um, but it's still training. Um, so we expect it to be industry leading on a number of benchmarks. Well, there you go, guys. You just heard from Mark. And I cannot believe they're working on a 400 billion parameters model. This is insane. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to run that locally. Well, like I said earlier, I'm not going to go into the details of this because it's not the objective of today's video. Today's video is mainly focused on how you can set up this Llama, Llama 3 locally and have it locally on your computer. Now, before we get started, you're going to have to install Olama, which is a tool we're going to be using in this tutorial. Now, what is Olama? For, some of, for those of you who have viewed our previous videos and the video of how I am building Jarvis for everyone. If you haven't checked that video, check that video. Um, I'm gonna put a link of that below or I'm gonna put a card on your right, I don't know, right or left, I don't know. But essentially, Olama is a software which helps you run large language models locally. And with Olama today, we're gonna use Olama to run Llama 3. So if you can see here, they already have that available here and this is crazy because llama 3 just dropped like i don't know what like three days ago maximum three days ago um i, I would say two days ago or something so they already have it available with olama and then we can download and install it so first things first we're gonna download olama you just hit short for port to olama.com and you download olama here it's available for mac linux and windows for preview i haven't tried for linux and windows but you get the point now, after downloading Olama, you hit straight forward to your terminal. After downloading Olama and installing Olama, of course, you're gonna uh, you, you go through the installation process. And after doing that, you go to your terminal and you type Olama. I believe it's like Olama. Um, if if you type something like Olama, you should be able to see this, right? So if you don't see this, then there's a problem with your installation or whatsoever thing let me know down in the comment comment section below and if you have any issues or whatsoever thing i'll be happy to help now after installing olama you can list 
your models by top by typing olama list oopsie oopsie not again and then well these are the lash language models i have installed locally so you can see here that i already have llama 3 installed but if you don't have llama 3 installed no problem you hit short for to um olama and then you can click on this link right here but if you don't see that link there you can simply search here llama if you're like if you're viewing this video at a later time at a later point in time you can simply type here llama 3 and then you're going to be redirected to this page so to install you just need to copy this command and paste it in your command line and hit enter now because i already have the model installed locally i'm not gonna have to download the model so it's just gonna run it but if you're running it for the first time you once you hit olama run llama 3 it's gonna first download the model locally and it's roughly three point what is it like three point seven gigabytes so there you go guys so after installing the model locally and with this command of course it's going to install the model with this command you run this command to start llama 3 and there you go that's pretty much about it so you can start like hi there and then your it's going to load you have that you see we already have llama 3 installed on our computer and we can chat with llama 3 this way now, if you don't like the command line or whatsoever thing, you can download, there is a, there is like a tool, an open source tool, which is, which I use, obviously, um, to run Llama, like large language models locally, and this works with Olama. I'm going to put the link to the tool down in the, the description below, but essentially, the tool is called Olama Web UI. So... Um, there's a pretty straightforward and easy way to set this up with um, Docker. There is a command you just need to type. You, you know what? We're just going to do it. Olama. Olama. What? Web UI. Okay. Olama Web UI. So here is the repository of the Open Web UI for Olama. Um, again, an amazing project kudos to the team working on this so if you're using docker you can you know just run the commands here so if you have olama on your computer use this command um, if you're using olama on a different server you can use this command and so on and so forth just go to the documentation on this link again i'm going to put the link down in the description below so you can easily refer to this so after running that you're going to have after running that you're going to have a container running on port 3 thousand or 8080 um, on your local host of course so you have that what, the first time you run it it's going to ask you to authenticate you know whatsoever um, you're going to have to create a, a profile or an account or something like that and I really love this tool because this tool gives me some sort of flexibility it it's it's kind of cool to be able to use local large language models in the form of you know like a web based like you know like chat gpt like directly in the browser rather than using it in the terminal so here we go we have our local models here and we can easily go to like our settings add a system prompt we can also even use chat gpt here we can add like an api key here and all the models are going to be listed here but that's not the purpose of this video again um like i was saying we're gonna select llama 3 latest which is 4.3 gigabytes and then there we go so we can basically just you know write a prompt or click on one of those prompts um predefined prompts and then we watch llama 3 at work and in subsequent videos we're definitely probably going to be doing like you know testing of the model itself or whatsoever thing but yeah that's pretty much the idea also just Please do well to let us let us know of potential, you know, um, use cases or how you plan to be using Llama 3. Or if you need any help, whatsoever thing, feel free to drop a comment down below or feel free to send us an email or join our Discord server and ask your questions. Again, 
um thanks again for watching this video um i didn't really you know sit down and plan this video properly like you know i always do i always like to do it raw present everything to you the process and everything i do so if you really did enjoy watching this video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe for um to our youtube channel so you know we can get more recommendations and you can help out with the algorithm and i hope to see you in the next one